presented by Huawei, Mate 9. I'm Matt Sweater with Tech Radar, and I'm with Nick Pino, and we're at CES 2017, and we're counting down all the top picks that we saw, all the gadgets that we loved, and uh, everything that you want to check out in 2017. Yeah, so Matt, we're doing a top seven. Why don't you start us off? What is the number seven pick of the show? So our number seven product is the ZTE Hawkeye. It's a self-adhesive eye-tracking phone. So you can stick it anywhere in the morning when you uh, are waking up and brushing your teeth. You can stick it to the back of the mirror. You can stick it to the back of the train car in front of you, the train car seat, and you can watch and read and scroll through text. And it's just a really different idea, a self-adhesive cell phone with eye-tracking capabilities. It's from ZTE, it's on Kickstarter now for $200 and you know, it's just thinking outside the aluminum metal box, the rectangular box of the usual cell phone that you have. And I, I really like that. I really dig it. Uh, we saw a prototype. They don't have the self-adhesive uh, you know, capabilities down just yet, but it comes out in September, and I'm really looking forward to it. Matt, sounds great. Let's talk about number six. So what is number six? For me, the number six product is a Vive Tracker. So what this is, it's an accessory for the HTC Vive. And what it allows you to do is bring any object from the real world into the virtual one. So let's say you're going to play a baseball game, right? Uh, it's way better instead of swinging a little plastic controller, you're able to attach this sensor to a baseball bat and it'll give you that, that weighty feel of swinging a bat in VR. So it's really cool. I saw a number of demos on it. Uh, one demo was a fire hose that I was putting out a fire. Uh, and they attach the sensor to uh, like a real fireman's hose. And what uh, an application of this could be is uh, training firefighters, right? Mm -hmm. So it's got a lot of really cool applications. It makes shooting games more fun when you fix it to uh, a Bluetooth gun. <laughs> so lots of really cool stuff. I'm really excited about that one. That's awesome. Let's go on down to number five. So Matt, our number five pick of the show is? So it's a Sony mobile projector. And although it's a prototype, it looks really cool and looks like the wave of the future. It basically blows up a tablet screen and it shines it on like a kitchen table. It can shine it onto a wall. It can live anywhere in your home. And it's a short throw projector. It doesn't take up a lot of room. The coolest part is you can manipulate the screen, which is not actually a screen. It's just light being projected onto your table. And it, you can play games and it has tons of Android functionality, just like a normal phone or a tablet but it's blown up to a, just a gigantic degree if you want it to be. And uh, you can lay out, one of the coolest things was Google Maps. So you could show a buddy like, hey, this is where we need to go. And you can actually you know, have an entire group see what you're projecting instead of just passing around the cell phone. I find that really great for not only gaming, but watching funny videos. Instead of watching those videos in like weird increments and uh, you know saying like, oh, watch this video and you pass and everybody laughs in like weird intervals, you're actually enjoying it as a group. So I think that's really cool technology and I really hope Sony does end up developing it. Nice. Now, is that a prototype or is that going to be a real conceptual product that's coming out soon? So Sony does this a lot and they, they, they say it's conceptual, but eventually they usually do release it. All right, Matt, we ready to go down to number four? Let's do it. Okay, Nick, what's number four? So number four is actually twofold. It's two products from Razer. We have Project Ariana and Project Valerie. So Project, let's start with Project Valerie. Project Valerie is a three screen 4K display uh, that's it's running on this uh, Razer laptop. It's running on the Razer Blade. Uh, it's, it's this very strange setup that they've cooked up. Three 4K screens all powered by the blade. It's it's a little nutty. Uh, they didn't give us like exact details on timing or anything or how much it would cost because I mean you can imagine three 4K screens on a laptop is, is pretty pricey. So we don't know uh, specifics on launch but I'm pretty excited about that one. The other product is called Project Ariana and it's a projector that uh, that will actually like expand your screen. So say you're playing a game like Witcher 3. You only have so much content on your screen at once what this projector does is shoots out onto the wall and gives you like extra peripheral vision into the game. It's really neat. Uh, currently one developer supports it, but they said there's gonna be more joining down the road. That's really cool. So Project Valerie is basically multitasking on a laptop through more than one screen. Right. Three screens. Three screens. So it's like your gaming desktop on the go. That's really awesome. I think number, uh, number three is next. Let's do it. 
All right, Matt, so what do we have at number three? So number three is one I'm really excited about. It's Faraday Futures electric car. It's the FF91, and it's supposed to be the Tesla beating car. And that, how, how they're doing that is it's the world's fastest electric car. It goes zero to 60 in 2.39 seconds. Nailed it, yes. Yes, I really am excited about that because, you know, when people think about electric cars, they're like, oh, that slow Leaf car, the Nissan Leaf. No, this is a, a faster than Tesla's ludicrous mode car. And I'm really excited by that. Um, it is expensive. How we expensive is it? So we don't know the actual price, but we know it's expensive. You know how? How's that? $5,000 deposit. So instead of, you know, the $1,000 that Tesla's making you pay up for, you know, their car, um, it says a $5,000 deposit, no price, but it's supposed to deliver in 2019 or 18. And I really can't wait for that uh, to see if, you know, there's some competition and it spurs more people to go with electric. Nice. Looking forward to it, but not as much as I'm looking forward to number two. Matt, here we go. What is number two? So number two, it's a, it's a bit of a weird one. It's the Snapdragon 835 processor. And you're like, oh, what's a chip have to do with the gadgets that I buy? Well, this chip is probably going to be in your next cell phone, especially if it's an Android. So the Samsung Galaxy S8, which is not announced yet, but we, we know it's coming, and the LG G6. They're probably going to be at the next big show, which is Mobile World Congress. However, this is the chip that's going to be at the heart of the, those cell phones. And it can do not just, you know, need a faster cell phone, but it's not going to be just a cell phone. It's going to be a VR processor. That's what it's being billed as. And it can do 3D virtual reality like no other phone out there. So yes, the Samsung Gear VR was impressive. Google Daydream View, that's really cool, but they don't really have the VR capabilities. And it's really because of the chip. It's a small 10 nanometer chip. And that means that since it's smaller, there's less processing power needed, so it's gonna save you on battery life. It's gonna do a whole lot more, including VR, and I can't wait to get my hands on the cell phones. But what we're seeing now is prototypes being powered by this chip, and it's just the future of cell phones in 2017. Great, no, that all sounds good. Let's go down to number one. All right, Nick, we're down to number one. What is our favorite gadget of CES 2017? Well, Matt, I'm the home entertainment editor. CES is a home entertainment show. My favorite picks here are the TVs. And we have three really great screens on display here. So Matt, the first TV I'd like to talk about is a Samsung QLED series, right? So the top of the line is a Q9 and it's a flat screen. Uh, it has a quantum dot filter that goes in between the panel and the screen. And it is just gorgeous looking. It has a peak brightness of 1500 to 2000 nits. Super bright, super colorful. You got a chance to see it today. It, it's gorgeous. It looks amazing, and the contrast ratio is incredible. The deep blacks and everything, it's, it's fantastic looking. Uh, we have Sony doing an OLED this year, right? So it's gonna be really dark blacks, really great colors. I got a private demo of it. And what they did differently on this is there's not traditional speakers. There's actually like a, a bar in the back that vibrates, and that's what's gonna create the sound for the TV. Super neat stuff. My favorite TV of the show, though, is the W7, the LG W series. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like an incredibly flat, like wallpaper thin OLED. What it connects to is a, a soundbar, Dolby Atmos soundbar, just through like a little optical cable, right? So it comes down from your TV into that soundbar, and then you get this Dolby Atmos sound with an incredible OLED picture. It's amazing. We don't know pricing on it yet. It's going to be expensive but it's gonna look amazing in your home. So that's my favorite pick of the show. That is incredible. I got to look at it and it's probably gonna be the top holiday gift like upcoming this year at the end of 2017 because this is gonna be expensive, but something every gadget lover wants to check out. And you can check out all of your favorite gadgets from CES 2017 right on techradar.com. And we have tons of videos from the show. So subscribe to our channel and check out more videos. I'm Matt Swider, this is Nick Pino, and we'll see you next time. Keep it locked to Tech Radar. Cheers. Presented by Huawei, Mate 9. Oh, I finally get the snap thing. I didn't know what this the whole snap thing like, was. I dream a genie type it's thing. like you're snapping and then we're down one level. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get what, I'm like, why the f is Matt snapping? Why are we doing this? <laughs>